everyone, it's Sheena from Moringa Rose, and today we're going to be making clean cotton. This is just an all-around clean and refreshing scent. So here we're adding our lye water, and then we're going to stick blend until it's emulsified. Now we're going to add in our goat's milk and colloidal oatmeal. With this being such a clean scent, I wanted to keep it simple. So we're going to be only doing three different colorants, and there I go making a mess. So I'm doing one smaller color and the other two more equal parts. The first color we're going to be using is titanium dioxide, gemstone ruby from TKB Trading, and coral reef blue from TKB Trading. Now we're going to mix these all up after I clean up my mess. So I wanted this white to be really, really white. So I added a lot of titanium dioxide. You'll see on the final cut, I did get glistening rivers and I was completely okay with that. Now this gemstone ruby um, you'll see comes out a little bit darker than I was wanting. So I am going to add some titanium dioxide, but this is such a beautiful color. See, that's what I was wanting. Something a little bit more light, not very overpowering. And for the coral reef blue, it's also a gorgeous color, but again, I wanted it lighter. So we're going to add some titanium dioxide to this as well. Now my coral reef blue and gemstone ruby didn't get glycerin rivers, but my white for sure does. Now, as much as I love this cashmere cotton from Wholesale Supply Plus, I almost cried while using it. Sorry, my husband was calling. But as you can see, look at this beautiful color. Oh, it's starting to rise. No, it turned green. Why? Oh, I was, I already knew at this point the soap was just going to be done. But I had hope. I had prayers that it was going to change back to the lovely color that I had. Now, as you saw, I didn't make you watch the agonizing mixing of trying to get rid of how bad the ricing was. But it turned it so green. Oh, it broke my heart. I'm not even going to lie. I was so in love with that blue. So we just had to have a little bit of hope that it will turn back. Once I've scraped out all the green, let's add a little bit of texture to this top. Let me find my spoon. Now I can't really say this fragrance thickened my batter any. I usually have a pretty thick batter to start with. So I can't say if it does thicken the trace at all. As you can see, there's no rhyme or reason. Just 
going to town on the top. So as you can see, if it turned my blue green, what color do you think is going to turn this pink? Yep, here comes more rising and discoloring. Oh, guys. Okay, I'm not going to make you watch this torture. Look at that orange. No. <laughs> no. So I went from blue to pink to green and orange. And not even a pretty orange. More like a brown orange. Okay. We're going to just repeat the same steps and texture that taupe. I'm sorry, my house makes a lot of weird noises. Guys, I'm so sad. This color is not what I expected at all. Okay, for the white. We already know this is going to turn colors. We already know it's going to rice. Let's get on to the whipped cream colored top. It literally looks like a lemon buttercream. And again, I'm not going to make you watch that torture. It took forever to get the ricing out. So if you guys watched my stories on Instagram, you guys saw we do have baby roosters. The big mean one that we had found a new home and the little ones we've had for a couple of months and we're just figuring out their crow past week. So cute to listen to. Like I said, I will be posting pictures of our chicken coop. I just need for it to not be windy out here to get a good shot of it. But back to the soap. Here I am texturing the top trying to get out some air bubbles. So we went from a blue, a pink, a white, to a green, a brown orange, and a yellow buttercream. I was not having much hope for this soap. Let's be real. There's not much hope. Well, guys, here's time for a close-up. Yeah, not thrilled about it either. It does not look like a clean, refreshing soap. Hi, guys. We're back 24 hours later, and look at She's so white. <gasps> yes! This is one of those moments that you get really excited to see the color morph back because it's always frightening the first time it does that and you've never used that fragrance oil before. Oh, yes, I had a few air bubbles in it and I'm completely okay with that. These smell so good. I'm so happy with the way these turned out after all. I was truly scared. As you can see, I do have glycerin rivers in the white part. But I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching.